meet her friend and I know that it will be an exciting time with her and I'm so privileged that I'm able to meet a woman of God who is ready to share with us her story and I will not talk much at this I just want to let you see me get into her office I hope she's in and I hope she's ready to meet us because guys we are in for a treat so I'll not say anything at the moment let's meet in there Hello, the friend. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Welcome very much. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you. Yes. Thank I hope you. you are ready for us. I'm very ready. Okay. I was waiting for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm very uh, ready. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. So, I think if you show us where we'll sit, we just go right into our business of the day. <laughs> we can be comfortable here. Okay. Here. All right. So, you can sit here. Ah, sir. Our seat. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi guys, Susie Le Diadem, living positively regardless. Doesn't matter the point at which you are in life, but we love positivity all the way. Ours here is all about impacting each other with positive vibes only. Doesn't mean we don't have challenges in life. It only means we smile through our challenges because the stories and the things we share on this channel is that there are people who, before we came to experience what we're experiencing today. There are people who experienced it before and they overcame and they are smiling. So why lack negativity? We work with positivity all the way. Today I'm so excited because I have a guest in the house, Karibu Sana Refresh Lecture. Thank you. And I'm so happy that you welcomed us in your office. And um, viewers, I will let our guest introduce herself, but even before she introduces herself, I want to just let you know what it is about today. Today is about inspiring you there who is really probably going through a tough time or you have a sister going through a tough time and you don't know now his story to Nafak we handle, Aji. Just to let you know, someone else went through that and today she's smiling and she has hope and she's happy in life. And so she'll give, be giving her uh, as her real, real life experience, and I know we shall enjoy. So, Karibu Nisana, enjoy the show. So, Ref, yes. I'll just let you to introduce yourself to my viewers. What could you do Nani? You may talk about what you do. Yes, generally, who you are. Okay, my name is the Reverend Recho Wanjiko Mulini. Mulini is my husband. I am born again. Christ is good in my soul. I'm serving in an Anglican church of Kenya in Kriyara Diocese, and I'm placed here at ACK Kiamuto Church. And I'm happy to host you here. Mm. You are welcome. Wow, thank you. Yeah. You were saying to me, Fika Church. Eh? <laughs> it feels good to sit with a woman of God. <laughs> when we, you know, at ACK, I love the way you people dress when it's an official way. Eh? Yeah. And we are like, how do we approach this? How can you talk to this person? You know, the way I hear you preach. By the way, guys, we have a sermon. I've already uploaded a sermon. There's a time you preached. You didn't know I was recording. But the moment you started preaching, I was like, wow. I think this message, I need it as well as our people. And now when you're on that pulpit, we are like, how can I get to her? Especially the way you are clothed. You don't look like... <laughs> how is it being a pastor? Yeah, it, yeah, in being a pastor. I don't know why people fear rights. Mm -hmm. But being a pastor, you are mother to many. Mm -hmm. You are friend to many. Mm -hmm. You are able to accommodate everyone, mm -hmm. regardless of the status or whatever that person looks mm -hmm. uh, or the way the person is, mm -hmm. we are able to accommodate them. Okay. We are very friendly. Okay. And I myself, I'm very friendly to everyone. Okay. I can accommodate anyone okay. and be able to cope with that person. So, so I don't mind that you are here. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. Uh -huh. Are you telling us you people have had life experiences? Because sometimes me now, Nanga, like these people, they have come from heaven and dropped the way you you're telling us pastors also have a story to tell. Ah, they have many many stories to tell. Many pastors. Mm -hmm. We pastors are wounded healers. Ah, wow. We heal, but we are still breathing. Okay. But because we know God, and uh -huh. when we pray, uh -huh. we know that God will heal 
us. Okay. That healing that we are bringing to our Christians, it mm -hmm. starts with us. Okay. And that's how I've come to be healed. Wow. Now I believe that there is no problem that is permanent. Okay. Then when I meet my Christian with any problem, mm -hmm. the first thing is to tell him or her mm -hmm. there is no problem that is permanent in life. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Every problem mm -hmm. has its own way to live. Okay. Yeah. You're wounded to heal. I'm wounded to heal. Oh, wow. I thank God for yeah. that. Eh? Yeah. Now, I know yeah. you're not always a preacher. How was it growing up? Did you always want to become a pastor? Did you have a dream of it? Yeah. Myself, since when I was young, I've, I've been brought up by my parents who are Christians. Okay. My father is a really died in an Anglican church. Okay. And I was born and met him being a really died in an Anglican church. Okay. My mother too, who is now resting, may her soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. She was a leader in the church. Okay. Because she was a church committee member, mm -hmm. a leader of women group, Manas Union Chairindi, mm -hmm. and they brought me in that Christian environment. Okay. So I grew up liking that thing of being a pastor, okay. being a Sunday school teacher. Mm -hmm. Since my father was also a Sunday school teacher, mm -hmm. I was admiring whatever he was doing. Okay. So I could move from the church, and when I come at home, mm -hmm. I was practicing whatever was done in the church okay. with the children of the area. Mm -hmm. Or if they are not children, mm -hmm. I could do it alone, mm -hmm. assuming I have a group of people uh -huh. that I'm addressing. Okay. So I could tell them, clap your hands, I could tell them to sing okay. the songs that we are being taught there, mm -hmm. like this song that says, Naskia Kicho, mm -hmm. Tubo Ngongo, uh -huh. and I could enjoy that thing. Okay. So I grew liking being a pastor. Ah. And when I was in class high, mm -hmm. I remember telling my mother, because my dad was not there. Mm -hmm. My dad used to work at St. Andrew's College mm -hmm. of the Orange. Mm -hmm. He was taking care of, of the Grangians mm -hmm. and the, all the other students who were there, mm -hmm. because he was in the kitchen cooking for them. Okay. And then my mother was with me at the home. Mm -hmm. So I woke up very early in the morning of one Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I felt, ah, I have to share with my mother mm -hmm. what I feel. Mm -hmm. And I told my mother, you know, mm -hmm. I'm very happy. I'm going to Sunday school mm -hmm. and I want to be a Sunday school teacher. Wow. And when I grow up, I would like to become a pastor. Wow. I didn't expect her to get annoyed because of the statement mm -hmm. that I would like to become a pastor. Uh -huh. But my mother uh -huh. got very bitter with me. Wow. So, mm -hmm. because of that because of that bitterness, mm -hmm. she, uh, she did, uh, she... She, she was not uh, comfortable with the statement, so I mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> the African mother. The African mother. <laughs> and as if that was not enough, mm. he called the, my grandmother, who is very far. My home, I'm born at Kakoigo, mm -hmm. next to Kerguya town. Yeah. But he called my grandmother, mm -hmm. who is at Moya, mm -hmm. the area. Mm -hmm. And he, she had to pay the fear for her mm -hmm. so that she can come and hear. Whatever what you I have say. Saying. Oh no. Because to, to, to them, uh -huh. the pastor uh -huh. was not a person who is, it's like a person who is not earning income, mm. Mm. a person who is of low income. Mm. And so they could not imagine mm. their daughter, yeah, daughter. Who they are putting more effort in school mm. being a pastor. Mm -hmm. So they beat me. <laughs> I thought she was called to come to talk to you. Until I told them that, <laughs> now I'm going to run away from your home. That's oh. what I confronted them and told them. Mm. I'm going to run away from this home uh -huh. and I will also run away from your church and I will move to other churches where I'll be attracted. Okay. And from there, I never told them again mm -hmm. about my calling and about what I am feeling I am right to be. Mm -hmm. But I didn't run out of the home. Mm -hmm. I continued staying with them. Mm -hmm. They accommodated me with rough because it's kind of the area right. Mm -hmm. I can get lost from their home. Mm -hmm. So they accommodated me. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whatever I was saying, mm -hmm. they were able to accommodate me. And when my dad came, they thought, I don't know what they thought, and I just saw that I'm being accommodated in home. Okay. So I didn't run away, mm -hmm. but I never mentioned again mm -hmm. that I would like to become a pastor. Mm -hmm. Every time I thought of mentioning that I would like to become a pastor, mm -hmm. I felt, ah, oh, no, I don't want to mention it because I, when I remember that, <laughs> I, I could not accommodate that. You could not imagine the kitapo. Ah, no, no. Wow. So I kept quiet mm -hmm. until when I finished my phone form. Mm -hmm. 
I had my other siblings at the school mm -hmm. and my elder siblings were in college. Mm -hmm. So they could not take me to college immediately mm -hmm. and I was left to just stay and wait until a chance is there. Mm -hmm. So instead of staying just at the home, mm -hmm. me I was busy doing some kibarua, mm -hmm. kwa watu, kama nikuosha nguo naenda house to house, washing oh. clothes in Aripua mm -hmm. and I ended up in the process of going house to house, mm -hmm. Kapata Mahari, mm -hmm. in the Tapata, yeah, the house, uh, the housemaid job. Okay. Nani Kafanya Yokasi. Okay. Yeah, wow. house girl, Kafanya, Kafanya. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Until when it came a time now when the children of the one that I was looking after, mm -hmm. Green, mm -hmm. when they went to high school, mm -hmm. I was left now to be in the housework mm -hmm. and in the shop work. Okay. And it came on time, mm -hmm. and it's as if me mm -hmm. I gave myself sasa mita nitore and yende up to Kabale, mm -hmm. and I went there. I took the forms, mm -hmm. the application for the schooling. Mm -hmm. Was a babu the calling for being a pastor? It mm -hmm. was still in my hands. Okay. So I took the form. Mm -hmm. I filled the form. Mm -hmm. I took them to my pastor. Mm -hmm. My pastor called the PCC members. Mm -hmm and they were able to accept me wow. and they recommended me mm -hmm. to go for the same. Mm -hmm. But my dad never knew that I'm going, nobody knew that I have a pride. I had done it very secretly. Wow. And now let me tell you the things that we do in secret. Mm -hmm. uh, if God, God has his own ways mm -hmm. to intervene mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. you may not think that it is through your wisdom you have gone through something. Mm -hmm. So he interrupted. Me, I always say this God who interrupted. Mm -hmm. I don't know who from my church mm -hmm. and from the PCC went to college mm -hmm. and complained that they have had and coming to college, mm -hmm. but I didn't pass through the PCC. It, it, the, and the complaint was, mm -hmm. it is as if the pastor mm -hmm. who was there mm -hmm. signed for me alone which was not true mm -hmm. because it was even in the mini book mm -hmm. of the church. Mm -hmm. But uh, then I was called at the school cabaret, mm -hmm. but then the principal was Canon Moses Joroge. Mm -hmm. He called me mm -hmm. and I went to school. Then he told me, you know, now you have to pick your phone and go back to your pastor so that he can recommend you. Mm -hmm. Because there is a complaint from a church mm -hmm. That the you never met the PCC, mm -hmm. the Paris Council. That mm -hmm. is PCC in Paris Council. Mm -hmm. You never met the Paris Council, mm -hmm. and so they don't even know whether you are coming here. They mm -hmm. have just heard with the rumors, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What is this?" And I was even taken to that PCC, and they said they have no problem with me. Mm -hmm. But I had to pick my letter, mm -hmm. go back to my pastor. Mm -hmm. I thank the pastor by that time was Reverend Peter Rashoki. Okay. And Peter Rashoki accepted me. Mm -hmm. And then he said, now because they, I, you know, he doesn't know who went and who gave that report to school, mm -hmm. he has to call every member and make sure that every member is there mm -hmm. in the PCC. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need any apology. Mm -hmm. So every member was in the committee mm -hmm. and I was taken in for an interview. Okay. I was asked so many questions, mm -hmm. many questions, mm -hmm. even some questions I could feel, but I had to hide my Hata kama unasikia unakasirika, mm -hmm. maswari ingine, unaificha tu na unajibu tu kwa furaha. Mm -hmm. And I answered all the questions. Mm -hmm. Then, the vika, the, the then now Reverend Peter Kashoki said, this letter, I am not going to sign at home. We are going to sign with the executive members. Mm -hmm. So my letter, mm -hmm. it doesn't be a one signature, okay. like many others, okay. it appears okay. four signatures. Oh, because okay. they have the signature of the vicar, mm -hmm. the signature of the then vice chairman, mm -hmm. the signature of the secretary, mm -hmm. the signature of the treasurer. Oh. So it has got four, four signatures. signatures. Mm -hmm. And then I was released to go to school and it was like, wow, mm -hmm. the road finally has opened the, mm -hmm. the door. Mm -hmm. But by the time, I was called by the Canon Moses to come for the letter. Mm -hmm. He realized the picture that I had put in the form, application form, mm -hmm. and the names, it is kind of, they are resembling my dad, who was working with him in school. Mm -hmm. So that is the time my dad came to realize that the daughter is even applying for this cause behind his back. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> you have gone all through this kind and your yeah. dad is not aware. He's not aware. Uh-huh. So my dad came to know that I'm going there <laughs> when I am coming for my letter that the time he was gone. Uh-huh. Because Karen asked me, are you a daughter of Mr. Johnson Modike? And I told him yes. And uh, Akamuita. <laughs> so when he called him, dad came and it was like, what? You are here. Mm-hmm. How? And then I had to explain first to my dad mm-hmm. why I am there. Mm-hmm. And then my dad, Aku and Yoshinda. He accepted it. He accepted. How did your mom receive the news? Now my mom, mm-hmm. after I received the letter mm-hmm. uh, that I've been given a chance mm-hmm. to the, to be one of the students there, mm-hmm. my mom now, it is the time now that she came now back to her senses. Mm-hmm. And she started giving me a testimony when I was born. Mm-hmm. I was born at Kerouya General Hospital. Okay. By then the hospital was full when my mother was going to deliver me. Mm-hmm. So she never met any bed, she mm-hmm. never met somewhere mm-hmm. where I could be born. Mm-hmm. And she just buried me just next to the door. I hope I better go major like Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it was just there, next to the door, oh. and the nurses okay. uh, assisted her just there, but uh, they instructed her after helping her and assisting her and taking the baby, pushing the baby, clothing the baby. Now she had to sleep just there with like a mattress, just like any other women, because they were there. At the, my mother told me, Ariambiwa, Mama, uchunge sana huyo mtoto asiende na umbo. Was a babu and I was a queen pasta woman. That's the time now she could re- remember the ones that uh-huh. she was told after realizing all the struggles I have gone through, mm-hmm. trying to at least achieve my dream. Mm-hmm. Now that's the time she hugged me, mm-hmm. and she I could even remember her sending tears. Wow, telling me, uh-huh. I've breast you, mm-hmm. continue. With that, with the calling, continue with your calling. Wow! And now I continued mm-hmm. and I went through mm-hmm. my courage. Mm-hmm. My courage life was good, mm-hmm. though by then I hated myself very much, mm-hmm. so I could not socialize with others. Mm-hmm. At the school, there is a stone called Rough Stone. Mm-hmm. I used to sit there alone. I never wanted even to go and dine with others. They, they are taking the arrange or anything. But there is this pastor who tried his level best mm-hmm. to be my friend. Mm-hmm. He, he rested another day and his name is Reverend Nebat Minor. Mm-hmm. Reverend Nebat Minor was married, mm-hmm. but he, he always interacted with my, my sitting, my everything, my comfort zone. He would come everywhere where I am and sit there. Mm-hmm. And I could tell him, when, Edna? Sitaki watu anze kusema na tebea na wazewa wenyewe. Mm-hmm. Rakini, mm-hmm. he used to come. Anasema hata bibi yangu anajua tuko na wewe. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go na? Anampigia tukiwa na ye. Mm-hmm. Na ananiambia salimia huyu msichana. Mm-hmm. Ni msichana wa yule mzee anatupikia. Mm-hmm. But I want you to say hi to her. So mm-hmm. I could talk with her and call even her. I just met myself calling her mom because she accommodated me. Mm-hmm. To a point that she was even coming. Mm-hmm during weekend mm-hmm. and we could sleep with her on my bed during weekend okay. on saturday we used to go to the mountain for prayers mm-hmm. with, yeah. with him and the husband yeah. up to kemunye castle mm-hmm. he could go there and pray mm-hmm. and our fellowship continued like that mm-hmm. Nebat continued even making me more social with other people okay. he also made me to be social with our pastor area mm-hmm. of student mm-hmm. who was by then venerable masharia he was went to rest mm-hmm. and uh, when we became free with the venerable masharia mm-hmm. venerable masharia now started asking me questions mm-hmm. why have i never seen you talking with a man because I was, in fact, I was past 28 years. Oh. And he has never seen me with any friend man that he could uh, show as if there is a relationship mm-hmm. to get married or in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. And as uh, it was normal, mm-hmm. many other, they used to have those serious relationships. Yeah. But me, I had none. Mm-hmm. And if a man came to me, mm-hmm. I could just rebuke them and tell them, and I remember even one who gave me a letter and I burnt it even without it. <laughs> and you were praying as you burnt, Father. Yeah, I said, rebuke this. 
<laughs> and I burnt it and it is kind of I never wanted to see that man come and cross to me. Oh, and I never wanted to see any man. Now when Ramasha has started intervening my life and it is kind of a but I loved the teacher so much. Mm -hmm. So I could talk with him and I could tell him my time has not yet come. Mm -hmm. I am still waiting. Mm -hmm. And when my time comes, mm -hmm. I will show you who is my serious partner. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have even that even idea in my idea, life like that I would get married. Me, I, only, I was only thinking about how now my life will be and how I will live just the past the, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like as a pastor, so I never wanted any joke with a man. Okay. So, when Rabu Masharia and uh, Reverend Neba, mm -hmm. they intervened around, and I never knew how, in our group, we used to go to pray with Neba and the wife. Now, mm -hmm. our group, mm -hmm. we can another man now, mm -hmm. who is, I could go to someone in the same class, mm -hmm. as well as Neba, we were, we were in the same class. Okay. So, the, the man by the name Francis Kalioki mm -hmm. came now to our group mm -hmm. and we started going now the four of us for prayers. Mm -hmm. We continued socializing. Mm -hmm. At our school Kampane, mm -hmm. there was a place we used to go and take monyo. Mm -hmm. monyo. It's the kind of water mm -hmm. in a tokanga chini okay. and it tastes like salt, ah, okay. like salt water. Okay, okay. So we used to go for it. Uh -huh. And uh, at that site, mm -hmm. there was many sugar canes. So okay. we could buy a sugar cane. Mm -hmm. And as we were taking our water, water mm -hmm. now we could be eating our sugar cane there, mm -hmm. talking, laughing, sharing so many things. Mm -hmm. And in the process, mm -hmm. I just met myself falling in love with Kalyuki. Prayer partners. Now prayer partners, yeah. we became partners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of our relationship grew to our point. Mm -hmm. Now when Rabu Masharia and Nebat and the wife and some other few friends, mm -hmm. Nisha Abia, my mother, that I have a friend, mm -hmm. I have friends who are coming to visit. Okay. And it is kind of, my mother was asking, now we are now already out of the school. Okay. We are already out of the school and I now wanted to introduce my partner to my parents. Mm -hmm. So I told them I have a guest. Okay. And my mother, it is kind of, she was asking us, what kind of a guest? Lakini ni kamambia, utawajua wakikunja. Oh, you're not telling her what kind no. of guest they are. Mambia utawajua wakikunja. Uh -huh. They are just friends. <laughs> By then, I am old. I'm about 29 now, yes. Okay. So now, my, and, and all that time, mm -hmm. it was not easy for me in the family. Mm -hmm. Because my grandmother, mm -hmm. She used to abuse me, tell me, harsh ones, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be married. Mm. You know, I'm very friendly to many. Mm -hmm. So I could come with the friends. Mm. I get them some things in our chamber. Mm. I get them some things in our house. Mm. I escort them with those things. Mm. But my grandmother could even come, even when I am with those friends, mm. and she could ask me, mm. now, you always come with married people. I've never seen you coming with somebody mm -hmm. who can at least go with you. At least I see a child. My oh, grand, I see, at least I see I my great grandchild. Uh -huh. What are you doing are you in your father's? Your and it is kind of one time I felt, oh, mama, mm -hmm. but before I do that, mm -hmm. I had to borrow permission from my dad. I asked my dad, mm -hmm. will you give me permission? So that I can talk rude to your mother. Oh, because she always child. she always talk rude to me <laughs> and she always tell me bad things. Mm -hmm. And my father asked me, what, what come on in, come on here. Always she she always keep on telling me, When are you going to get married? Mm -hmm. I've never seen you coming with a friend, with a person who is not married. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in your father's and it's kind of a feeling I'd like to speak? Has to her. Mm -hmm. I can you raise her? Mm -hmm. I want to ask her now. Mm -hmm. Because she is telling me to get married. She is telling me to get married. My mm -hmm. father, I can you mm -hmm. If you have ever had me abuse your mother or telling her those harsh words, mm -hmm. just to try to tell my mother those words. And wow. it is kind of now. Mm -hmm. And keep quiet with my pain. Mm -hmm. But here now I'm happy. Mm -hmm. in Bata, mm -hmm. So my grandmother uh -huh. had to know the man even before my mother. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. By the time I'm telling my mother, I have guests. We had already visited my grandmother. And she was very, yeah, with the prayer party. Mm -hmm. Those are the two of us now. Uh -huh. And she was very happy that she has seen the person who is now going to take her granddaughter. Okay. So and now I went and told my mother, I'm mm -hmm. bringing guests. We went, we introduced ourselves. And mm -hmm. then, as usual, they told us now, go mm -hmm. and come with your parents. Mm -hmm. so, what, what made you fall for Francis when you were assisting all other men? Was there something... That you saw, Ama, you just felt, I think it's time. Was there something that struck you? I cannot even be able to explain. Uh -huh. Once we started as a prayer party, uh -huh. we continued praying. So even the way we fall in love, uh -huh. I cannot you even be able to explain. You yourself I love. found myself, we are talking like lovers. Uh -huh. We are moving like lovers uh -huh. now. It's kind of tripentana too. Okay. Tripentana. Now we have started now. And I need to be a stickers. I need to be a... Now you are not burning anything else now. Wow. Yes, it told me. Mm -hmm. I preserved them very well. Okay. Those ones I could not buy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now they are coming to see your people. Yeah, they have come. And, and now we are, I uh, may be one, mm -hmm. go ahead now come with your parents. Mm -hmm. And so now we arrange and they, that they are coming with their parents mm -hmm. and they came. But it's equal to We don't want to keep on going because we don't have the finances. Mm. So to Kapangana, we shall go as well as we plead with the parents mm. so that they can at least allow us to do our wedding. Mm. We shall be continuing with the other dowries mm. as the time moves on. Yeah. But they had come with the, some things. Mm. So they came with the, whatever they call in Kikuyu Kirvige. Mm. And it was now planted mm -hmm. as a uko nikubanisha. Mm -hmm. That person now mm -hmm. has a owner. Yeah. Nobody should Nobody. come there. Oh, wow. Already okay. it has been marked that house. Ah. Already that that girl has been spotted. Okay. Nobody else should spot the girl. Okay. So now and they came. Everything went on very well. The towel went on very well, mm -hmm. and we finished very well. Our parents they embraced us to have our wedding okay. very well mm -hmm. and. There was nothing that we can say. Mm. It was a hindrance. No. Everything was well and the blessings were mean. Mm. And now we went and started our journey mm. together. Mm. And we planned our wedding very well. Mm. And we started everything very well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. We started it very well. Mm -hmm. And the journey went on well. See, see a preparation for the wedding. The wedding yeah. Now, now you are happy. You spot the people you would like to be. You are and the bridesmaid. The bridesmaids. Yeah. And the, the the best man and yeah. the best man, of course, was mm -hmm. Reverend Nembat and the wife. Uh -huh, yeah. Because we had worked with them in a journey, mm -hmm. and on that journey, they could understand us even more better than mm -hmm. anybody else. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we picked them to be our best couple, mm -hmm. and then. After picking them to be our best couple, we went now, we, we selected the dressings for the mains mm -hmm. and for the gents mm -hmm. and everything now started on very well. Mm -hmm. Everything, uh, we had gone through all the process. Natuka mm Panga -hmm. and our wedding mm -hmm. was to be there. Yeah, was to be there. It was to be there. I said it was to be there, but it did it. It didn't happen. Okay. Here is where we put a post. Uh -huh. But I still ask this question. Ask. It was to be there. Mm. From the look of things, everything is happening. The parents have accepted you, have blessed you. Yeah. What will happen? And nothing was hindering us from moving on with our wedding. Yes. Both of you are in love. And it happened and very okay. fun. Yes. In the process of preparation for our wedding, mm. we used to go for prayers as well and as usual. The way we used to go, the four of us. Okay. We continued with the same. But now we were not going at Kimunya because it is very far. Mm -hmm. And Reverend Nembat and the wife had to come all the way from Muranga. Mm -hmm. So we used to meet at Kutus okay. in Church Yafem. Mm -hmm. they are, there is a very nice ground there for prayers. Mm -hmm. And they also offer some rooms for prayers. Mm -hmm. So we used to meet very early in the morning and leave at the evening. Mm -hmm. And in the process of prayers, mm -hmm. I remember this time I could Arusi, I could come and tell them my hand and dream. Mm -hmm. Now, I dreamt about the, the groom and the parents had come for the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. But I was not aware that they are coming for me. Mm -hmm. So, 
we had people singing at the gate the way my mama sings and whatever. Mm. And then I it is kind of I asked my mother, eh? Kwani yao walikuwa wakunje or what is happening? And my mother told me I am also wondering. And there is nobody here to welcome them. My mother started calling the neighbors and the people who are around so that they can come and welcome them in our home. Mm. And they, they welcomed them in our home, but myself, I was not prepared to get married just like that. Mm. I don't have a gown, I don't have anything. Mm. So me, I said no. And because I said no, because I don't have a gown, they went. So when I went there, I told my prayer partners. But instead of praying, they just laughed and laughed at me. And they told me, you know what? Wewe, ukona stress ya harusi. Lakini itakuisha, harusi itaendelea. So you ikaisha ifo, and that day went. Another day as we were, every time we were going, the Lord gave me a dream. And in that morning, I went and told them, you know what? I have dreamed again today. And today I dreamt I had three gowns in the house, but all of them they were dirty. They had moja ilikuwa matope kutoka nusu kwenye chini, and all of them ziriperekwa kwa dry cleaner and they could not clean very well. So when the gown came, the bride and groom has already arrived, and the the parents are there they are singing, and already my mother knew there was a wedding, so the other were waiting and the women are singing. These ones are singing, these ones are responding, and it was very, very jovial. But the girls here, the bride, haja toka kwa sababu, hakuna gauni ya kufa. So, I woke up, before the dream now is over, so nikapata it was a dream. I narrated to them. They told me, ah, ah. Well, we stress bundle konayo ya harusi. You're overthinking. You're overthinking. So, on Monday, when we are now, we expecting our wedding to be on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We went again for prayers. Mm -hmm. This time, mm -hmm. I had dreamt being at my ACK Kakoigo church where my wedding was to be. Okay. And being there, I I was just very shaggy. Mm -hmm. But I was dressed in my hair, but I was dressed in my hair. I was preparing to go for salon. Mm -hmm. So in my in the office of the vicar, mm -hmm. The, the vicar then whom we, are, we were serving with, mm -hmm. have not yet been ordained by them. To mm -hmm. make for three years before ordination. So in this three years process, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now that time we were serving with Reverend. Now he is venerable. He is venerable David Moriti. Okay. Now we were with him in the office, in my dream in now. Dream, yes. mm -hmm. In the office. And Moriti, Reverend Moriti told me, that we were preparing to go for pastor. So I don't know what he sent me to pick in the chat so that I can come with it. Kutoka, and I saw so many people in our compound. And it was kind of, ah, one, what is happening? How do we make kufanya nini in our church? And then I went back to ask the vicar, are you aware that there were people who are coming? And the vicar told me, no. Where are they? Come up here. In our compound, there are so many people. And at the look of them, I don't recognize any. So, probably they are not the parent of Lagoyo Primary School, and they are not our Christians. I don't know why. So, he sent me and the evangelist. To Katoka Injin, to Yotuende, to Kawa Ulize, they have come to the world. On our way, we can be an evangelist. The pickup, I can see there, we need a pickup. I remember when I used to be the Kivingoti because I was to be married at Kivingoti. Okay. I remember when I used to be. What is it doing here? Sasa tukasema, let us go and ask them what they have come to do in our church. In the process of going to ask them, I met with the venerable who had been given the mandate by the bishop to officiate our wedding. He is venerable, canon Karanja. Okay. So as I was going to Kanun Karanja, mm -hmm. uh, Kanun Karanja came to us. Okay. And because we met, we had to say hi to one another. Then Karanja asked me, where are you going? We have come for the wedding. We have come for the wedding. Huh? is a wedding? Whose? And we, we are not aware that there is a wedding here. And he told me now, the man has told me he is not going to wait any longer. Now he wants to get married today. And if you are not ready to get married to him today, he is ready to marry another person. So it is kind of, ah, 
venye susu wa mefrai mm-hmm. and other people at home mm-hmm. am i going to allow him to be to marry another person mm-hmm. sasa nauliza how will the wedding be i don't have a gown i look like this my hair is not smart mm-hmm. how will it be and he told me the man said he is not marrying the hair and he is not marrying the gown mm-hmm. but you are going to get married mm-hmm. and it was kind of eh nilisukuma tu nao chungati tukamwambia and the wedding had to continue okay i saw myself we entered into the church mm-hmm. na the service started mm-hmm. and as we were singing and praising mm-hmm. mimi naona sasa sioni kichana pale amesimama mm-hmm. lakini hapa katikati mm-hmm. naona jeneza nauliza my brother because i am not even standing with my parents the way the bride and the bride grooms do unajua mm. bibi harusi anakalishwa na wazazi pande zote mbili mm. sasa mimi tuko na my brother the older brother namuuliza i what is happening mimi naona tuko harusi mm. lakini tuko mazishi what is happening mm. si ni jeneza mm. ananiambia let us go and see who is there mm. kuenda kuangalia in the coffee na tuoni na tuoni mtu tunaona sasa ni harusi na watu ni kuimba wanaimba and my dream ended up like that when i narrated to them I'm telling you they draft. Awakati walicheka, I told them, you know, me I don't see a single is a wedding. Naona kama ni Afro cinema. The one that is it, the Afro cinema continue short. <laughs> Let me ask you Rev, mm. all this time when them you are telling them in the last thing you yourself what are you feeling about these dreams? Are you concerned no matter whatever you are feeling? Maybe ni mabaharusi menibeba sana. Hey. Wakitupilia na mimi natupilia tunaombea mambo na gowns mm-hmm. harusi vile itakuwa mm-hmm. program of the day mm-hmm. mambo ya vile tutakaa maisha ya nyumbani mm-hmm. we always used to pray for that beautiful life and mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. we even prayed for our children mm-hmm. in normal saying that you would like us to have two children okay. so we normally pray for our two kings mm-hmm. that we shall be blessed with mm-hmm. and that's the only things that we pray for And apart from the dreams are there any physical challenges the real ones that now like they can stop the wedding are there things that is in oppose you know like the way you would plan them na sikia mzazi alisema hapana but there are things that were cropping up that were making you feel like here this nikai tasimamishwa no 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 everybody was very happy oh, everything was and not very supportive okay. including my sisters my brothers mm. everybody including the other family accepted me very well okay. they loved me very much mm. even my mother mm-hmm. the mother now to my fiance mm-hmm. was calling me my daughter okay. and they seriously loved me ah, okay. they loved me very much i was accepted in the family by everyone okay. including the young ones of the the my fiance okay. they had accepted me and everything was very nice and it was kind of everybody was asking isi mm. yeah okay so we went on now uh, see it's on monday mm. and me it is kind of everything now is ready mm. we had already already seen the gown everything was ready in fact it is going to be back if it will be over the door kama kuendea nguo za wazazi we had already gone for the brain the means Mm-hmm. the main scrolls yeah. and washed them okay. ironed them and hung them in my neighbor's house okay wow. we were, we were very supp- even neighbors were very supportive mm-hmm. once mrs kanywa mm-hmm. was very supportive to me because okay. i washed my clothes in mrs kanywa's house mm-hmm. and then i hung them there we ironed with her mm-hmm. we hung them in the house mm-hmm. and then i knew that everything now is in order it go me back me me and then shuko nyewe and then in pambo vile bibi harusi ana pambo ndio tu amki harusi so after monday mm-hmm. on tuesday tulikuwa shughuli shughuli mm-hmm. because of now here and there final yeah, touches, the final touches. Mm-hmm. we went to the ground where the reception shall be kama mm-hmm. the ground is okay mm-hmm. everything was in order on that side because they they were to cook on that side mm-hmm. Then on Wednesday we went to Karatina mm-hmm. to see whether our parents crews are in the main mm-hmm. main crews now our dance mm-hmm. it's on the only suit that we are remaining mm-hmm. so this is our dance mm-hmm. and nakik kiki ko ina pikiwa bando Karatina mm-hmm. so we went to Kaona Ikosawa to Kambiwa to the at home on Friday evening mm-hmm. so we had to leave it so that in on the evening of Friday mm-hmm. the person will drop it at the at the, the reception mm. at the priest at our home my fiance's home mm. so then mimi mm. tuliachana na yeye on wednesday 
here is now where darkness turned to be light, dewy light turned to be darkness or whatever. Because now we have left one another very well. By then we had not seen his ring. Everywhere we went, I could only find my ring. He has in Toshe. So to me, tomorrow, where would that after it at Toshe, when you tapata, Namini, and I need an Toshea, but I'm in a rings. Ziobeo to buy, my show and my new money to take that to the foot rings by day. So, Mimi and the end of work, and we talked with his phone had some problems. But he told me, me, I'm going to sleep. I am going nowhere now. I'm very tired. Mm. Tomorrow, I will wake up very early. Mm. I plan how the fire wounds will be ferried from my home to the church where the reception was to be. Mm. And then after that, it is then the time that I will go now to pick the suits mm -hmm. at Karatina. Okay. I will bring you ones. Mm -hmm. It's not a... Aliniambia sila sima ni kunje. Tena kwake, yeye, anaweza reta ama atumani. In fact, he used the statement. Naweza reta ama ni tumani, sila sima ni rete mimi. But suti itafika, ata kama siko. So tumea chana, and he went. That was on Wednesday. On Wednesday. After he arrived at home, he called me through the mother's phone. And I this kind of I responded, yes, ma'am. And then I can be a it's me. Sasa I can be a mother home, you are here with my mother, I'm even taking my supper. I want to sleep, I don't want many other things. Ata kwe tu kuna minsha, but I'm not going to attend. Mi minata kanirare. And ni kaungea na mam, mam wa kaniambia, ata ni kukura anakura, wanakura. Na ye, ya mese, kariki ya mese ma hendi church. He wants to go and rest. Ni kaambia ni sabu. So mm -hmm. me, my name is I'm here with my friend, by and I Mary Ann. I'm going to make a journey so that she can assist me on parking, parking my things because I'm now moving getting from married. this home. I'm yes. getting married. Yo, she'll show you. You'll see me go out with my husband. I mean, it's idea. You ready? I'm going to make a move. So now I'm going to make a twist. Tule tudoko tudoko, tiyo Friday, Friday ni kusetiu ha, tukue, tule tunyele bibi ya rusi kupambo he. So ni kaenda, tuka enderea parking, parking, parking. Simu, kitu around saa ine, ikajipiga kwa angu. Mi ni kapiki phone, ni kasikia ni kama ni ya mtu, ni jipiga. Ati kerele mingi. When is this Thursday? It's still on Wednesday now. Still on Wednesday. Still on Wednesday now at 10. He have taken our supper, they have taken their supper. Okay. And now myself, mm -hmm. I'm here now packing my things yes. so that I can at least leave them packed right. as I go to Saloon. Aina mm -hmm. mingi, we will just pick and put in the vehicle that we will carry. Si bibi ya rusi ndiyo unabebo na vitu zako. Unabebo na vitu zako, yes. Kao Mrs. Ngela is there now assisting me to park. The phone has run. I've picked my phone. Na, ikashindo, ay, tukaweka volume. Na mbibu nasikia watu wanaongea hati. They were talking, there was so many noise. I could hear some people saying, Pika honi, sinjui mwasha mata, hey, ondowa hiyo, furuta, furuta hii. Hai, nika shindua hii, nika zima, ah, nika zima. Awen, nika jiuriza, nabona nime zima. Sila mna ni watu wa mehaijakiwa, and maybe I could assist them in a way. Nika piga nione kama itachukuriwa, hai kuchukuriwa. It was a straight number that I did. It was a straight number. So now, because hai kuchukuriwa, ngera haka kunjia bibi yake. Haripo kunjia bibi yake, sinime mzindikisha na hamengia kwa gali na umeenda. Mi mbado nasumburiwa na that cold call. Ninasubuka badu na shindu wa mwai. My mind is not telling me about the man, but kuna hile, kuna sikianga, you are not comfortable at all at all. So I picked the phone again, and I called the number, and I said, I will call until they pick. So I called, I called, and the one who picked was now my fiancée, but I could not recognize 